Well, the curtain is set to fall for Mobile Ballet's final show at the Civic Center. Rehearsals in full swing today for the production of Sleeping Beauty. Our Ashlyn Mitchell joins us live in the studio. And Ashlyn, because of the upcoming demolition for the Mobile Civic Center, organizers like Mobile Ballet, they've got to find somewhere else to go. Yeah, that's right, Lenny and Shelby. And that's the big question that has been raised ever since the city first announced they were going to tear down the center and replace it with a new arena. Today I spoke to the Mobile Ballet, and although this is their last production in the old Civic Center, the show will still go on. Rehearsal is in full swing at the Mobile Civic Center for the Mobile Ballet's production of Sleeping Beauty. For decades, performers have plied across the Civic Center stage. Katia Garza, director of the ballet, says this show is bittersweet. It's a mixed feeling because you know it's your last performance here and it's, this is all going to be gone. Recently, the city announced it is demolishing the Civic Center and building a new entertainment arena. Mobile Ballet had put so many productions in this theater. It definitely needs help. Mobile, the city needs a new theater. As renovations begin, the Mobile Ballet will perform at the Sanger Theater. We are working on it. Changes come with challenges but challenges make, make us grow, so I'm ready for this challenge. The singer will also be the new stage for distinguished young women, an organization with nearly 70 years of history in the Port City. Carol Hegwood, executive director of DYW, says the change is going to take some adjusting. We knew we were going to be out due to renovations for the next two years. Now we're trying to figure out, moving forward, what will that look like for an extended amount of time. Both Hegwood and Garza cite similar concerns that space will be a factor in the singer. Our finals will be June 27th, 28th, and 29th. For production standpoint, it's going to be figuring out with the smaller stage and smaller facilities, what will that look like? We may have to scale back for a few years or ever how long this might last without a theater. The Sanger is a beautiful theater. However, for ballet performances, it's a little limited because the amount of drops that we can hang or the space that is besides the wings, we cannot have so many props in and out. Our productions are going to have to be updated and changed. Still, they're hopeful. We're going to make it work. I was very excited to know that in the future Mobile can have a new theater that can bring, who knows, Broadway, musicals, new companies. Now, if you want to watch the final performance at the Civic Center, you can find that ticket information on Fox10TV.com. The show runs this Saturday and Sunday. Live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.